right, everyone, we are going to try out another new demo that I found here. This one is called Foot Gun Underground. It's a roguelite with a soccer theme behind it. It's not actually on a field. From what I can tell, you're a guy who's really, really mad at the world and you're using your soccer skills to defeat a bunch of mutated monsters or something like that. So you're using the ball as your weapon and you're kicking it around. Um, I, I haven't looked into it too much, but we're going to check it out. It seems like a whole lot of fun. So let's get into it. Foot gun underground. <laughs> Extreme music. Let me see if that audio can get a little bit higher. All right, that's as good as it's going to get for now. So let's go in and um, yeah, try foot gun underground. Okay. Wow, he's fast. I mean, he's a soccer player, so he can move. He can. How many jumps is that? Double jump. Okay. Yeah, I can jump that. Hold jump. So that's a, a longer jump or a more tall jump. That's cool. Ball kick. Where's... Oh, wait a minute. So I don't actually aim it with my mouse. I was, I was thinking I would. Or do I? No, it's from my position is where you kick it. That is so fun. So you just hold on to the mouse button. Ball control. What's ball control? Ah, okay. So you can hold on to the kick button or you can hold on to the right mouse button to hold on to it and hopefully get into position. How do I kick it straight up? Okay, I'm going to try my best to, to be good at this game. I don't know if I'm going to be. So we got to kick, kick it to these particular targets. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. I'm trying to figure out like when I want to control it versus when I want to kick it, you know? I got it. Okay, let's control it. Cool. Hold, ball kick. Yes, I understand. Oh, you want me to get the full power. You got it. Oh, he's super sane. Let's see it. Woo. That's a nice sound. I didn't take the ball with me. Wait a minute. Where's the ball? Let's go into the train, I guess. The, the train is still operating, everybody. Even when the world is totally destroyed from the looks of it. What's up, dude? I want to kick you with this super kick. Can I kick the actual enemy themselves? Nope. Don't try that. Only soccer balls. Damn it. Why don't you hit the damn thing? Nice. I got a exclamation mark. He's still alive. Why do they keep spawning? Give me the ball. Nice. Oh, missed. Ah, damn it. I can't kick it like low enough. There you go. Got some hearts. Cool. Do I need to take my ball? I'm going to take it anyways. So here's our level up screen. We have new skills. Wall speed up accelerates an activated ball upon hitting a wall. That's kind of cool. Kick strength plus one. And then we have delayed bomb. Spawns a mini bomb upon hitting the wall, which explodes after a delay. That sounds really cool. So we have up to three balls from the looks of it on the balls section here. We have our cyber ball, which is light weight. Damage is probably standard. So you can have up to three balls bouncing around. That's kind of cool. I think that's what I'm understanding here. Um, Looks like you can have some pieces of armor, etc. too. Looking good so far. I'm going to take the bomb thing. Oh, I see. So you have a ball main. And then you can have two attachments to it. Do I get all of them? And this is a piece of armor. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. So depending on the shape of the new gears that you're getting, it goes on the ball or it goes on your character as a attachment, I guess, or an item. Cool, let's move on. And we have our regular map traversing here that we see from a lot of roguelites. All of it looks the same. We have some stars over here. I don't have a legend telling me what exactly it is. I'm gonna have to assume that the star means finding items or relics. Shopping is a shopping cart, question mark is event. And then there's 
normal battles versus elite battles from the looks of it. Maybe? I don't know what the things really mean. So we're going to go for the star things, I think. Because <laughs> I am addicted to getting more items in any kind of game that looks like this. Oh yeah, there's tons of bombs happening. Oh, damn! Gotta watch it with the double jump. I wish there was some platforms, but that would make it maybe too easy. I keep thinking I can kick the actual beetle. Nice kick. That was like a critical hit. Oh, baby! So one thing is, uh, I don't know if it's in the accessibility settings right now or something, but the the enemies kind of blend into the background a lot. Uh, I don't know if it's intentional to have it that blended in, but it's a little hard for me to tell sometimes where the enemies are. I'm watching the ball, I'm watching myself jump around. Um, just a little bit of accessibility there that might be um, might need to be a little bit tweaked in my opinion, but that's just in my opinion. Combine items of identical names and rarities into high rarity. You got it. So we have that over here with delayed bomb. There you go. Power it up, baby. Wall scale up. Scales up when it hits a wall while active. Effect is 15, count is 3. I don't know what the hell that means, really. What does this thing do? This is wall speed up, and then this is wall scale up. Wall scale up. This was combo damage. That was weird. I think it... Gave me the wrong description for a second there for some reason. Deals additional damage with each hit in active mode. I feel like I would rather have the combo rather than the other thing that I had there. So let's move on. And we're going towards the stars, baby. So we got some beetles coming out of that cavern at the top. Yep. What the hell? Ah, oh, missed. Damn it. I can't hit this thing. Okay, let's control the ball for a sec. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't even kick it there. Oh. Squashed. Get squashed. Get squashed. Oh, wait. I think I can hold up and it will kick it up. Yes, it will. Okay, you can actually control the direction of the ball if you're... Um, Holding those directional buttons on WASD. I wonder if I can play this with my controller. Because that would allow me to be more accurate with the kicks, perhaps. Oh, nice. It is really satisfying when you get the perfect kick and it just, like, blows them up. Delayed bomb. We do have a delayed bomb, but it's not the right rarity, so let's move on. Pinata! <laughs> it's a pinata, everybody. Oh, we're on a timer. Oh, missed. This is such a annoying ground to be playing soccer on. There you go. Nice. Where is it? Where is it? Damn it. Go over there. No, go over there. <laughs> I should really just control the ball. Damn it. No, I want to play with the pinata. I'm sure you can break it if you're good enough, but I obviously was not good enough. Well, we have 27 bucks. Let's see if there's anything over here at the vending machine I want. Extra ball. Cyber balls 5. Charge speed up. Holy crap. These balls are really cheap. We have a bomb ball. Explodes on hit. Lava ball. Oh, wait. Was I just refreshing it? Oh, wait, no. I thought I had bought it. Okay, I think I did buy it. Let's see if there's anything here. Delayed bomb, I wish I could afford. Let's just get out of here. I, I believe I just bought two new balls, right? I did. So we have a bomb ball. Bomb ball, you can have more bomb for now. Scale up, speed up. Let's try the speed up. So how does this look like now with both of these balls going on <laughs> we just have two balls bouncing around i love it ow there's there's broken bottles on the ground and that is a trap i died 
Oh wait, I'm rezzing. No, I'm not. What happened? I screwed up. So there's gonna be other characters. Very cool. Um, what am I supposed to do here? There's nothing actually here. Oh, never mind. There is. But of course, for the demo, we just got this guy. That's totally cool. Random starting item, I'm assuming. Kind of like Crab Champions style. Here's a cool duck. Okay, let's just go. I assume this is starting up the run. Yes, it is. So let's start. Second try, everybody. There you go. This burger poster is actually getting in the way. Nice. Nice. We're done. Get me out of here. So we have combo damage, I think that I saw. Delayed bomb. I think that the tooltips can pop up a little bit quicker. Again, just my opinion. Um, right, so. I'm not good at these, but maybe it's a different mini game or whatever you want to call it every single time. Oh wait, you can't hold the button to kick it where you want. Not while you're controlling the ball at least. Have I been wrong this whole time? That's still the way I'm going to try to play it because as you're moving, that's like kind of the direction you kick the ball. And if I just move in the direction using the WASD keys, of course, maybe that's a good strategy to try to get myself to get familiar with like how to control the ball a little bit better. Or I can just suck at the game, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just be good at dodging and just kick the ball as many times as needed. All right, <clears throat> so we have a cyber ball. This is a leveled up cyber ball. I guess you can level up the balls too by dragging and dropping. I, I didn't even consider that. What is this? Heart, HP boost, add max health points. Okay, cool. That doesn't go there. That goes there. Let's go for the pinata. We've got another wall crawler here, but now we have more to kick at him. If only I could kick properly. Nope. Oh, direct hit. Get him, boys. Nice. Oh, so close. Kick it. Kick it. <laughs> nice. We don't even have to kick it that hard. It still does 20 damage, I guess. Nice. Okay, how do I shoot it upwards consistently? Because I'm gonna want that for the pinata, I think. I'm not doing well. I guess I did do okay. So wall speed up times two. Might as well just level up that one. And we're off to this special space. It is a target practice instead. Oh wait, I don't know how to kick up. Oh, so close. I'm kind of just like spraying and praying here. There you go. Up, please, up. Please go all the way up. All the way up. <laughs> Oh my god, finally. I did it. I can't believe I completed the challenge. I suck at this game. Hey, what's up? Avery's? Avery's? Hello. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're you're watching it in different formats, right? Yeah, vertical versus wide. I would definitely say wide is 
I mean, some people like it on their mobile too, but I, I notice a lot of people are joining from the vertical format for the phones. It makes sense. It's a vertical phone, so it fits a little bit better there. It scales up when it hits a wall while active. Cool. But I think, uh, yeah, you're missing some of the screen on the vertical format, but you know what? You know what? You can't have everything sometimes. Hopefully it's all good to all of you. You're enjoying the content and everything. Oh crap, the bottles are back. It's kind of grim to think broken bottles are going to be my demise in the future. It seems that way if this game is telling any truth. Whoa, what the? That thing's getting huge. That's what she said? Oh, F. The more you hit it, the more it gets big. The bigger it gets. I don't like this stage at all. It's very hazardous. Oh, crap. Damn. Nice. Backwards. Oh, I'm screwing up here. There you go. No way. I thought that was going straight to his face. There you go. Do I have to pick up the coin? I guess I do. Hey, eye catcher. Very eye catching um, handle there, by the way. This is called Foot Gun Underground. This is a demo version. Um, yeah, it's on Steam. Increases the charging speed. Sick. Foot Gun Underground. Pretty fun so far. Pretty fun so far. Like, just turn your brain off and and kick around the ball. It's, it's kind of cool. How much money do I have? 24? You know what? I'm going to go for a shop. Can I check my inventory real quick? How do I do that? I would love to check my inventory. Uh, you know? Just so that I can remember what I need to level up. So it would be great to pop open the inventory at some point. Um, I'm going to try to find things that I remember I have. Wall speed up. Kick strength. You know what? I'll take the kick strength. We have a lava ball. You know what? I will take a lava ball because I think what was happening before was we had two of the same ball. Yes, we do. So we can put a lava ball over here and we can do whatever we want like this. Do we want the cyber ball? It's rare with 30 damage. That's kind of sick. This is five damage, damn it. But it does do DOT. Let's see what happens here. We got a lava ball doing some stuff. It's actually doing nothing at all so far. Wow, 60 damage. I wonder if the cash disappears. Take this. Burn, baby. Doesn't look like the cash disappears, everybody. Damn it. One health. We're at one health. But we got this big ball that does a lot of damage. Nice. Oh, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Boom. Oh, another thing came out and he killed me. Oh, what? Right when I killed that guy, another crab thing crawled out and he, he touched me. Training room? Well, this is nice. Exit. Exit. Don't need it. I think you have to win to get currency passed over from the looks of it. One more, everybody. Hello, L. Averys. L. Averys. Averys, you were here before with some other... other characters. Some odd characters in the name, I think. I miss my growing ball. I know that sounds weird. <laughs> I don't want to say that one out loud too much, but that growing perk was really nice to have. Because my aiming is terrible, and if the ball is just gigantic, then how can I miss? <laughs> yeah, nice. Don't need that yet. Yeah, just gotta watch out for these spawn points. Again, I don't know if it's intentional, but it would be great to just have it like kind of like highlighted in some way so that I just know to not touch it or I can be a little bit more careful around it once my character moves towards that glowing hive entrance or what have you. 
That would be nice. Just a preference for me, at least. Combo damage, sure. Strength is up. Let's go. The stars were good. I wish the star was before the shop. Maybe we go upwards. Let's go up towards the top here. So we're in like a subway... We're within like a subway route or something like that. Uh, it's part of the design. And the map that we're choosing our next path on, I guess it kind of looks like a subway map as well where the each path has its own color code. <laughs> I think it's kind of clever. Kind of clever. All right, let's try to kill these things. Oh, you're lucky. There you go. There you go. Nice. Oh my god, I love it. It is really satisfying once you start doing it right. These guys are easy because I'm just kicking it to the floor. I love it, man. I love it. I think they can do a lot with this game. We have a lava ball. Very cool. And this is a... What? What are you? Charge speed up. Love it. So we're going up towards the top here. Root T-O-P. Nice. Oh, damn you. It'd be sick if I had a dash too. I don't know if that's too much for this game. It might even be too much for me, to be honest. <laughs> to pay attention to. But, I mean, he's a soccer player. He should know how to do a little slide or, you know, a little slide kick or something. Nice. Nice. Oh, there's another one coming out. Nice. <laughs> oh, I'll play Noida again soon. Don't worry. I am like the worst person at that game. <laughs> but maybe that's why it's so funny for people to watch. Won't be today, but... Yeah, I want to play Noida more. I need to... Put in the hours so I can get better at it. I'm just so freaking bad at it. Okay, so we have a bomb ball explodes on hit. Would this be better than the cyber ball? I guess it would be. And this is a wall speed up. Accelerates. Sure, I'll put on the bomb ball for now. And we're still going towards the top. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm guessing you're a player then? Or are you like new to the game as well? Got some burn here. Oh man, we're crushing it right now. Can I just say we're kind of crushing it? Oh, nice. Bank shot. Their bleeding makes me think that they're shooting nasty projectiles at me, but they're not. Nice bomb. Oh, did you see that direct kick to the face? This is a lot of fun. Delayed bomb times two. We do super bomb. We do a super bomb little dude right there. All right. I'm getting slightly better at the game. Let's see if I can do this challenge. Oh. Nice. Nice. Well, this one might be hard. Oh, I bounced the ball off the other ball. I love it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, damn it. I thought that was it. There you go. Wow. With 21 seconds left. Am I a pro? Oh, cool. 100 hours. I think that's probably more than me. Maybe not. I don't know. I feel like time just gets sucked away when I'm playing that game. Wall scale up. Scales up when... It hits a wall while active. Now, I think I want that on the bomb ball so I can just have it gigantic. I think this is gigantic, right? The gigantic perk. I think I just picked it up. It is. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm never watching out for those bottles. They always get me. That's a big bomb. Doesn't do that much damage, but it gets huge. What? I didn't even touch the bottles there. Damn it. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. 
We gotta stay over here. Because the stupid bottles are killing me. Woo! That was close. Nice kick. No, you're lucky. Get him with the bomb. Bang shot! Oh, I missed. There you go. Okay, we need health. We officially have one HP. Super jump. We're out of space. We have this scaling thing, whatever that is. We have another bomb. Cool. Is it a shop next? It is not yet, but it is a prize room. Ooh. All right. Back to this. Come on, do it. Oh, no. Come on. What? That's not a hit? It keeps, like, unactivating right when it touches it. There you go. Oh my god. I'm so bad at this. There you go, finally. It's like keep up. Alright, we're doing it. I got like five bucks. So once you kick it up there, just like keep jumping and kicking and it stays up. It's actually not that hard, but I'm just really bad. Okay, so we have a lava bomb. So I can level up the lava ball if I pick up this. Charge speed if I think I have one. Again, it'd be so great to know how much I have of it. Extra jump, HP boost. I, know, I think I have a charge speed up. I'll do a reroll here. It's wall speed, combo, damage. Extra jump. I don't know what I have. I'm going to save my cash. See, it would have been sick to see that I actually do have some extra jumps. Wait, extra jump. But you... Unique, but I have two. You also can't combine. I'm confused. So the unique tag is very confusing to me on that. Does unique mean you can't combine them? Or cannot level up them? That seems to be what's happening, but unique would make you think that you can only have one of them. So that is a little bit confusing. Maybe a bug? I don't know. Let's go for an event here. It's just one of these prize rooms. Okay. Damn it. What? Get in there. No way. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No way. I did so good last time though. There you go, finally. They started with the hardest one anyways. Yes! So good. I did it. We have one health heal from that. Double cyber ball. I really like my bomb ball though. Explodes on hit. I think I'm still gonna keep it. Combo damage. What is this thing? Wall scale up. Scales up when it hits a wall. Yes, I still want that. Alright, we are gonna move on. Here's a boss, I think. Could I possibly beat them? Oh! Centipede! <laughs> Kick it! Kick the balls at it! Doesn't seem so bad so far. Can we burn him? No, he's traveling. I thought he was going to stay over there. Oh my goodness. Get burned, bro. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nice. Nice. Kill the centipede. He be spitting. He's super slow. I feel like he's easier than the normal enemies. Or just as easy, I should say. But we'll see. It looks like he has a second form. By the way his HP looks, I think he has a, a second form coming for us. I wish I could have him stay on the screen a little bit longer, that's for sure. Damn it. Hit him some more. Are you kidding? Stay on the screen, bro. There you go. Ooh. Nice. Damn it. A little bit too close or a little bit too early. Stay there. Damn it. <laughs> I 
I think I hit him once. Woo! What? Wow, I haven't hit him for like five years. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm also just so afraid of getting hit even once. Damn. Ooh. Hit him again. I think we're almost at halfway. Finally. Why? There we go. There we go. He's halfway. Let's see if he does anything different now. Looks the same. Yeah, it looks the same. This guy has a ton of HP. Oh wait, he's not doing the same. This is actually better because he's staying on the screen more. <laughs> Oops, got hit. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> Whoops, got too confident. Maybe I didn't want to see the second form. Okay, well, that will be our first look at Foot Gun Underground. I think it's lots of fun. I'm going to put this into maybe like almost like a novelty entry. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to have the depth that I'm looking for for like a fully priced roguelike game kind of thing. But if it's a couple of bucks, I think that um, it's definitely worth it if they're planning to add more content and stuff like that, that could drive a little bit more convincing towards like, you know, this is going to be a game that gets a ton of gameplay, like lots and lots of hours, a lot of replay value, but I'm not seeing yet, but it's definitely fun. I think it's well-crafted, but um, for, for some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that it's going to be a short play or just like kind of like that novelty game that you have that you get the itch for. Um, it's a little bit different than the usual formula, but it has those little quirks that you like to see every once in a while type of thing. But let me know what you think about Foot Gun here. Leave a like if you're enjoying the content and don't forget to subscribe as well. We'd really appreciate it. That's Foot Gun Underground for now. We'll be back with more very soon.